Now at 11, drivers in danger. A wrong turn ends with gunfire along one of Central Florida's busiest intersections. Glad you're with us tonight. I'm Matt Austin. And I'm Lisa Bell. Police blame road rage, and tonight we find out why. News 6's Eric Sandoval joins us live in Castleberry tonight. And Eric, this could have happened to anyone. Yeah, it could have, and it could have been even worse than it was, Lisa. It happened yesterday right at the height of rush hour at 436 and 1792 here. We found out it was one witness who not only got a, the car's description of where these gunshots came from, but also got a license plate number. Next thing you know, I hear, wow. This officer's body camera captured this phone call from a man who says he saw this case of road rage erupt into violence. He said it started along 436 yesterday afternoon. He said he saw drivers of two cars yelling at each other. And when they got here to 1792, he and the victim say they heard gunfire. Yeah, I almost okay. got killed. This is the driver who says he was shot at. And look closely. You can see a bullet hole in the driver's side door of his white pickup. He told officers he'd been arguing with two men in a red Nissan Sentra, which he says sped away after that gunshot. Minutes later, Castleberry police say they spotted that car at a home in Altamont Springs, and they questioned the men with it. I, don't, I was giving me some food, man. Okay, yeah. so you have no idea about anything about that? Okay. Now listen as police bring the victim there to identify them. Is that the car right there? Yes. Okay. Any of these three guys right here? Yep. I'm just going to take a couple quick pics of you in it. Castleberry police arrested 25-year-old Cassia Stevens, who they say was a passenger in the Sentra. They also arrested 26-year-old Carl Simmons, who they say was the driver. Now, right now, Castleberry police say they don't know which of these guys actually pulled the trigger, but they're charging them both because they said they were working together. Tonight, we just checked. They're both in the Seminole County Jail being held on $35,000 bond apiece. We're live in Castleberry tonight. Eric Sandoval, News 6. Matt, Lisa. Scary situation. Eric, thank you.